Hi, my name is John Ng, and today I'm going to read you a poem that I've written. It's called The Wet Market, and it really is a description of a moment where a child's emotions are completely being invalidated or ignored by the mother. Um, and, it's, and it's something that I try to express a lot in a certain section of my book. Um, but this is called The Wet Market. You do not understand. You take my hand and you lead me meandering over a soaked, tiled floor, scowling, pulling harder, and then yanking. It has been scrubbed over, washed, sprayed. It is too bright. I've seen the cleaners at night. The entrance is too wide. It gapes at me. There is sunlight on the other side. You turn and, framing your gritted teeth, you use your public mother's voice. You implore that I pick up my pace. You remove my school bag. You do not see it. The clouds that hover here, the red of dismemberment at the butchers, the yellow rot crawling all over the vegetable stands, the black mist seemingly visible only to me and the eyelidless fish, their tails flapping away on beds of white ice, the floor leaking bright red. It has been scrubbed over. Ceramic does not swallow. The floor tastes different from blood, but the stench tells a different story. You do not smell it. Beyond the market is a sunflower-colored bus. It is filled with little fingers like mine, little faces, little feet. You demand a kiss from me for your cheek. I am not the last to arrive. I try to point that out, but you're already gone. They went the long way around. In the sun, not through the shade, arriving on time. The bus driver asks me again how I am this morning. Like every other day, I reply the same way. I can't breathe. Whether or not he hears me, the door closes. We stick to routine.